How beautiful are these fish? How, how many groups do we have here? Let's count together. One, two, three. We have three groups. How many fish are in each group? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten fish in each group. Excellent. Well, how do we know how many fish we have? Did you notice that the number of fish is equal in all groups? And that number is ten. Therefore, we can use three methods to know the number of these items. The first method is to skip counting by tens. The second method is repeated addition. And the third method is the multiplication. Let's start with the first method. Skip counting by tens. 10, 20, 30. The last number we got is the number of all the items. So, we have 30 fish. Now, let's use repeated addition and we will see together what the result of the addition is. 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 30. It is the same result. Excellent. Well, let's use multiplication process. Who will tell me how to write the multiplication sentence? First, we write the number of groups multiplied by the number of items in one group. How many groups do we have here? Three. Excellent. Multiplied by the number of items. How many items do we have here? Ten. Now we have three multiplied by ten, which equals thirty. It's the same result. Excellent. You are amazing. Look, we have two plates of strawberries. We want to know how many strawberries we have. Let's count the number of strawberries in this plate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten strawberries in each plate. Let's use the repeated addition. Ten plus ten equals twenty. So, we have twenty strawberries. Excellent! Now, let us write the multiplication sentence that expresses the number of strawberries. Who can tell me how to write the multiplication sentence? Excellent! We write the number of groups multiplied by the number of items in one group. How many groups do we have here? Two. Excellent! How many items in one group? Ten. You're awesome! So, we have 2 multiplied by 10 equals 20. And also, it is read 2 tens. Excellent! Let's read together the multiplication sentence again. Come on, say it with me. 2 multiplied by 10 equals 20. Look at these groups of donuts. Can we express the following pieces of donuts using appropriate multiplication sentence? Yes, we can, because the number of items in all groups is equal. Excellent. Let's write the multiplication sentence that expresses the pieces of donuts. How do we write the multiplication sentence? Well, we write the number of groups multiplied by the number of items in one group. How many groups do we have here? Four. Excellent. Multiplied by the number of items. How many items do we have here? Ten. We have four multiplied by ten equals forty. So, we have forty pieces of donuts. Excellent. Also, we can read it as four tens. Let's read together the multiplication sentence again. Come on, say it with me. 4 multiplied by 10 equals 40. Here, we want to write the multiplication sentence that expresses the number of pieces of candy. Who can tell me how to write the multiplication sentence? Excellent! We write the number of sets 
multiplied by the number of items of one set. How many sets do we have here? One. You did well. Multiplied by the number of items. How many items do we have here? Ten. Now, we have one multiplied by ten, which equals ten. So, we have ten candies. Excellent! Also, it can be read as one tenth. Let's read together the multiplication sentence again. Come on, say it with me. One multiplied by ten equals ten. Excellent! We want to express the following multiplication sentence by drawing. Let's read the multiplication sentence. 5 multiplied by 10 equals 50. What does the number 5 represent? The number of groups. Excellent. So, we have 5 groups. What does the number 10 represent? The number of items in one group. Excellent. So, we will put 10 items in each group. Okay, let's draw stars for example. We put 10 here, here, here too, here, and here too. Excellent! So, 5 multiplied by 10 equals 50. Great job! It also reads as 5 tens. Now, my students, let's solve some questions. <laughs>